we'll give it a couple of minutes to see if anyone else joins and if we have some topics. Um, Hi, Victor. Good morning. Good morning, Taylor. Let's see. Is today a special day? We got low attendance today. Something going on? Daylight savings starts on the 13th, so that wouldn't be it. Hi, Ian. Good morning. I'll be with you in a moment. I'm just going to get my uh, coffee poured. The meeting will be better for it. Sounds good. Right. Okay. Um, let me get the meeting minutes up and we will begin. Hi, Frederick. Hello. Right. All right, I posted the meeting notes and if folks can add their names and any agenda topics. And I'll hand it over to you, Ian, if you're now back and ready. Yep, yep I'm here. Um, good morning, everybody. Um, all right, I just need to... Right, so um, good morning. Welcome to the CNF working group for those of you who've come, which seems like six of us, so not a huge meeting and probably not a very long one this morning. Um, right, the um, upcoming events, the reason the daylight saving is in there is our meeting is tied to UTC, so um, it moves when daylight saving strikes. So, um, Come March the 13th, the meeting will shift, I believe, to um, 9 a.m. Pacific um, as opposed to 8, um, as you know, that is how it works when UTC is what we're tied to. Um, and similarly, it will shift the same way when uh, Europe moves on the 27th. We've got that funny two week period when we don't, uh, everything doesn't work together. Uh, we have a set of upcoming events. The usual uh, rules apply. Um, CFPs, if you uh, want to uh, put a paper in, then there are a few there. The Open Source Summit and, well, both of the Open Source Summits have um, CFPs open. So if you've got anything which you would like to file about CNFs, about NFE in general, um, now is your moment to get a paper in. If you think you would like some help with that, then obviously we're always there ready to help um, if you need some, need someone to bounce ideas off of, or you want your write up to be approved, but uh, we're quite happy to help you along with that. Um, we'll do the um, poll requests in a moment, but I just wanted to mention because we haven't got there yet, and it's been on my mind for a few weeks. Um, 
At the moment, the chairs are me, Taylor and uh, Jeff, who unfortunately hasn't been able to make it for a few weeks because he's got a conflict um, for the three different domains. Um, me from the um, CNF creators, developers, uh, um, Taylor for the community and Jeff for the CNF users. Um, our term is coming to an end um, in about, I think it's four or five weeks at this point. Um, so we should probably send an announcement out and make it clear to everybody that if you would like to stand for the one of the co-chair seats for next year, your moment is here, now is your chance. Um, we'll get the details of that sorted. I don't think we've actually planned it out just yet, but um, we will um, uh, get the process in place. Um, our mailing list isn't used terribly much, but last time we did this, then we asked everybody to post on the mailing list. And I think it would be a good idea if that went out to the um, to the mailing list so everybody gets a chance to check up. Um, right, um, pull requests. I don't know what pull requests we have. So here comes a surprise. We have three. Four. Can't even count four. Um, okay, that's an auto generated one. I see we do have a couple of fail failures going on. So that will need checking before we merge it. But I don't imagine anybody's got too much of an objection to that. It's um, uh, just an, a bot coming in and telling us we've got our CI to sort out because it's out of date. Um, so uh, I guess Taylor and I will go and double check that and see what we have to do. Um, configuration best practices for Kubernetes components. You can guess how much homework I've been doing this week. I haven't read this. Um, has anyone looked at this so far? Got any thoughts on the subject? Whose commit is it? I haven't taken a look yet. So. Yeah, I don't see anything to, uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't call this comprehensive, um, but I don't think there's any particularly objectionable elements in here. Um, I don't see much in the way of sources in the sense of this is why we should be doing it. Um, when was this one created again? Ask difficult questions. Why don't About you? seven days ago. All right. So yeah, exactly seven when, days ago. So when Ben added these, he talked a little bit last week, and I went through the um, best practice, I guess, spec or template or whatever that we have, and talked with him a little bit about references and everything. And if you notice, this is also under the user stories. Yeah. So it'll need to move over. I think it's a good start for the conversation around this particular best practice. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure that this needs a user story. I think we all accept that there are certain things that are considered to be good that you should do with Kubernetes. Right. Um, and I wouldn't worry terribly much about justification, but if we did have some degree of sourcing to say, this is why we think these are the best practices we have and why we haven't bothered to put others in, then that would certainly help. Um, but I would rather we committed it before much longer than made it completely comprehensive because something is better than nothing. Um, and again, and I don't see anything terribly objectionable here. So that's a good point. Um, so I would say it, it should be moved over is one yeah. of the things which I already told them. And then the related thing is we should probably review and update what's required in the proposals, best practice proposals area, because we do have some things that are required that we may not care about at this point, mm. uh, for the first commit at least. Yes, absolutely. I know we've got a document and a format that we should be using. Um, I don't think that changes very much of what he's written. I think it just means we cut and paste over to the format we'd like, but um, it, yeah. it would be a particularly hard job. But yeah, I mean, in general, um, what is there to object to? This all looks like fairly sensible stuff. 
Okay, um, so that's job one is a formatting problem and then references if we can find them. Uh, Would which... you like for him to put in references um, before we go through approving it? I think, uh, actually, I'm not so bothered about that, but if we, if there are any obvious ones, we could at least ask him. Um, so maybe a resubmission with over to the correct area and then I guess, you know, one thing that we've said, but I don't think it, it may not be documented is we, we would eventually have the approved list of best practices. So it's almost like we need to have a section where they can be come in and be iterated on. And then eventually um, they could be listed or even moved into something. Well, yeah, I mean, iteration is effectively a pull request on the existing best practice. So um, right. that should be uh, having a best practice to iterate on having this committed would would solve a bunch of problems for that. Give us All a right. space to work in. OK, um, I, I think one thing that maybe this one needs is to be a more explicit name because it's can you go back into the file changes? So I think it just says configuration. Is it configuration? configuration best practices of Kubernetes system components. Yeah. Um, best practices. So I guess through APS or security best practices. Is it one enabling, disabling? It actually is multiple. So it, this is multiple. This is almost like a synopsis of a set of best practices. Now that I'm looking at it, it's a whole bunch of best practices. And we probably need each of those to be submitted as their own. I don't I think it's necessarily a problem that a best practice has checklist items, you know, more than one checklist item. I, I, unless there's a reason to separate them out into multiple, I wouldn't. But I mean, um I, the synopsis needs to be a little more um explanatory shall we say nearly all of this is best practices for the purposes of security uh, from what i can read here which uh, makes uh, which he's managed to put in there but he's put in there as a subtitle as opposed to the actual title so uh, if we I, I imagine that's because he was thinking this would want to be broadened out um but if we actually get ahead of that and just say no let this will be the security best practice part and if there's more than you know for efficiency for reliability then we keep those independent um then we would basically be good that's how i would do it so that let's go to the very top on this example disabling anonymous request mm -hmm. someone may agree to that but they are they don't agree to that one but they agree to everything else so they don't turn that on and then what do we say that they're not following which pra I'm, I'm getting to the point where if a service provider is looking and saying, which best practices are you following? And they'd say, oh, we follow the configuration best practices, except they didn't follow one of them, disabling anonymous requests or API authorization configuration. Yeah, but the, um, the um, compliance document would say not only that they aren't following it, but specifically how they're not following it. So again, we would be covered in that circumstance. It would be written down as to what they were doing. It wouldn't just be a, I haven't checked this box. It's I haven't checked this box because. So I, I think... I see where you're going. It would be nice if this were a checkbox and it was a simple yes or no, but I think you're going to see this with any best practice that, you know, there are ways in which you can manage to not follow an aspect of what it advises as opposed to um, simply ignoring it. For me, this seems like a list of best practices that someone could implement 
each piece independently and then within each of those like enable audit logging there's actually a lot of different aspects that you could change on that and people may have different preferences that are like where are you going to put your audit policy file well make sure that it doesn't stay on the host because then it can be accessed if someone gains root or it can disappear you know there's a bunch of different things like that that i start thinking but those are then implementation issues versus you better have audit logging enabled or something if if someone's going to claim that yeah, um, what are you arguing there? Are you saying that it's I, not detailed enough? Or no, you saying I'm that? saying that each of these potentially should be their own document versus having them all listed. When you go and look at the user story section, like the supply chain attack, it seems fine to have them all split out until someone goes, oh, this one's really important. Let me do a bigger write-up. But this one seems like they're they are being stated as here's a lot of different user stories. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of different best practices and each of these could be their own write up with their own references of why it's good. Yes, they could, absolutely. But my question with that is, is the effort of breaking it down and the spreading of the information into multiple files actually making this more useful to us or is it just basically um, burying the information, making it a little more com complicated to use. Because I think the result works out the same. You would have to comply with all of these, or you would have to detail why you weren't complying with some of them. You wouldn't simply say, I am not complying with security best practices, and I'm not giving you any detail as to why, because we ask for that in terms of how compliance is written up. All right. So one thing that right, would if, help would be if we're going to say that people should do references, which I think re references should be a part of any of the best practices put forward, then it would be good if if there if you're going to have multiple practices included in one document to make sure that you have a reference for each of them, ideally. Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm still good, even though I, I kind of lean towards splitting it up, I'm good with having, if that happens, it could happen after the first iteration where we get this in with references in the correct area, not under user stories. Yeah. And then um, it can be decided to be split up or added to. Does anyone else have thoughts? There's a lot for me and then I. Hi, Kishore. Welcome. Hey, hi. All right. Um, everyone can look at this one, add comments. Um, I'll remind Ben that we want to move it over. Although, I guess that could happen after the fact. But we do want references, I think. Yeah, I mean, what, actually, if it comes down to it, I would want it to be moved as a first step. Um, the references I would take as a wish list item that we can't have straight away. Um, I can't see, I, I think one or two of these things could do with a bit more detail, like the credential uh, type and uh, detail, um, because this one seems to be asking for, you know, um, Um, yeah, that, that's, that, that seems to go through things without actually saying you must do X. It's simply saying here are some notes that you might want to give consideration to. So if we can actually set it, if we can set a threshold against it, that, um, that would be maybe a little more useful. Um, you know, um, there are notes here that you could do X that in the passive voice it is very important we just need to you know bring that back to a threshold you have done this or you are not in compliance but um 
anyway. All right. Well, I mean, again, I, I like that. It's a good first start. Um, I, I think um obviously I, I i have some preferences for making it better but i wouldn't necessarily want to see all of those preferences dealt with before um we let it in i, I just think we we should you know we'd be better off with it in and then improving it over time okay um next oh yes haha <laughs> um Yeah, this one's on my homework thing. It's been sat here for a month plus and uh, I need to do my homework on it. So, um, but I don't see that it's getting more comments. Let me um, take that and run with it. Uh, I will put another pull request out and, and get the comments that uh, Pankaj dealt with um, and, um, uh, and deal with it. Most of what he said, I believe we agreed was uh, recommended rewording to make it more understandable, but I didn't see anything in there that was uh, desperately needed um, to improve the content. It's really just the comprehensibility that seems to be uh, in debate. Um, so with a few rewordings, then I would hope that's ready for commit which means I'll take the work in progress label off of it as well. Um, this is Jeff's story, which apparently is now some getting old, so um, probably in need of actual committing. Um, Jeff should be on the next call after the time shift. He had said that he won't have a conflict. Oh, good. Let's Let's just hold off until next week and I'll... You and I can best bag him to make sure he's on that one. Um, yeah, um, I'm not seeing, again, huge objections to the content, just niggling reword stuff again. So if we can persuade him to do his homework, <laughs> like I'm any better, but if we can persuade him to do his homework and um, uh, do a rewrite on this, um, then I would like to think that we could actually be in a position to approve it next week rather than debate it. That would be good. Um, but it doesn't, again, look like anyone's got significant objections. But um, yeah, best held until Jeff himself has an opportunity to comment on that. Is Jeff running tomorrow, uh, next week's meeting as well? I'm not sure sounds about right I, th I think he's got about a month of saved up meetings to run so that seems yeah only... we can take off doesn't doesn't matter but um anyway yeah we, we'll get him to do a rewrite and if we can get him to um uh give it the once over before next week's meeting then it's another one that should be ready for approval so um in terms of homework then i have my pull request to update we'll see if we can get jeff to do this one taylor if you can talk to ben and see if you can do the work that's necessary on the other one and again speaking personally exclusively i think it's uh, got the right content it just needs as much as anything formatting with a bonus dose of references if we can throw it in then as well as moving it um yeah. to the right location yeah so Victor, can you take a look at the air gap again and see if if there's anything that's blocking a approval thumbs up? I think sure. Pontai's yeah. messages were more of stuff that could be expanded on, but not blockers. Okay. Um, yeah, um, I can just take a look. Uh, I'm not sure what yours were, but it may have already been addressed. Well, I guess my my comments were regarding uh, other tools that I discovered. I mean, nothing besides having okay. new references. Uh, so there was one comment there I saw about a short definition. Just you just passed it, Ian, from Victor. Yeah. So um, this one here uh, is Jeff talking about how you do license management the applications on top, um, and that's going to be a little difficult um, and asking for a definition, which I think is obviously worthwhile. Um, 
It's like it's like saying what is edge, what is air gap. I can see where that one takes us. Um, or, or the other, maybe we can resolve that, and maybe we can request the addition of that definition into the glossary uh, project instead of here. Um, yes. Um, uh, if you think there is a simple way of rewording this, then obviously you can propose a change on this as opposed to, to give Jeff some clues as to what you're looking for. Um, if you think it involves um, clarity in the glossary, then please um, stick a pull request on the glossary. Um, and then we can get that in first and then Jeff's got more to work with, whichever you like to do. Um, but the, you, you know, um, let's just try and have this ready for approval by the end of the week. And again, we will go chase Jeff and you can certainly um, communicate with him in the channel and um, get that done. Um, but it's been outstanding for plenty of time at this point and um, it would be worth our time to finish the job. Did we make the change on how many, the number of members that we want for approval? Uh, no, I don't recall seeing that. So we um, talked about adjusting it, lowering it for some. I believe it's five, and you were talking about making it three. And to do that, you would have to change the governance file. So, yeah. so then we need a vote on that. Yeah. All right. But it does seem like a sensible plan because we're struggling to get attendance at the moment. So, yeah, this one we need one vote even. I think I'll give my thumbs up after this call. Um, this one has no thumbs up, I don't think. It's, That's right. It's, we don't even have one. <laughs> no, but we do have three people who've looked at it. And actually, it's more than three because I've read it enough times at yeah. this point. Yeah, um, I'm ready to give it a thumbs up. I was holding off to get more opinions. Yeah, well, the opinions do ask for changes, so um, there's a little bit left on that. Well, I say that some of them have obviously seen changes, or at least there have been changes since. Yeah. All right. Can you hit the, the little circle for Honkai and uh, Victor, I guess Bill as well. Uh, the little spinny circle by their names, the recycle button or whatever that is, it should re-request, yep. There we go. Then they'll all get notices, and if they come back and want more changes, they can request, and otherwise we can move forward. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll call that dealt with. That is the last pull request, so I can I, I will work my way back up the stack of what we were talking about. Um, right. So that is the end of what's been put down in the agenda. Um, does anyone have anything else they would like to raise while we're all basically meeting? Well, the spring break, I don't, I didn't know if, if that was oh, commented yes. on. Uh, and you can move that maybe the very last beyond elections. Uh, the, I will not be, I'll be out for spring break. Okay. Um, I'm not, um, but that doesn't mean to say I wouldn't like a day off. So um, I will take the judgment of the majority. Anyone else with preferences? Um, looks to me like we haven't got that many Americans here. So spring break may not be a concern to everybody. But um, I think if we, March the 14th is literally next week, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so let's take that to the channel and make sure we actually have everybody's consensus. Um, my answer here is I don't care either way. Um, I'm not going to say um, if, if there's not enough people coming, then uh, I would obviously cancel, but uh, I'm perfectly capable of coming along. So, Ideally, the next, yeah, the next one, Jeffrey will be on to help move some of those things forward. I see Lucina typing. So have you volunteered for that? Lucy, you got audio today? She may not. <clears throat> okay, Let, let's let's go with. Um, uh, well, if Lucina does it, then Lucina does it. If not, one of the rest of us needs to jump in. But, um, but yes, yeah, so we, we'll double check on that. Um, it's not quite the same as President's Day, but um, you never know. Um, all right. Um, 
And again, unless anyone's got anything more to raise, then that would seem to be the end of today's work. Anything else? Uh, no, and Lucina in, in chat said she'll take care of it. So I right. think we're good. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, everyone else. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye -bye.